วัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone welcome back with me again Chef Dao from Bangkok Thailand and for this lesson I will show you how to prepare another popular Thai street food we call it Ratna in Thai in Thai we call Ratna หมูนุ่ม Ratna is the name of the dish Ratna หมูหมูหมูนุ่ม is mean a uh, tender pork Ratna หมูนุ่ม you may know in the name uh, white rice noodle with pork in gravy sauce r a d n a m u n u m The ingredient is very simple and simple seasoning sauce easy to make. Now, are you excited? Let's begin with the ingredients. So first, of course, we have pork. You can use any part, or you can change from pork to be seafood, chicken. Also, set aside for the pork. All right, and next we have egg. Garlic, baby corn, Chinese kale. Uh, kale, or if you don't have kale, you can use snow peas or broccoli instead. Carrot, and white rice noodle. Also, if you cannot find it, if you want to make by yourself, I have the recipe. Uh, you can go back in cooking techniques to make your rice noodle by yourself. Uh, this is all the ingredients. And next for marinade. Uh, Marinate the pork. Uh, for pork, we will marinate to have a tender. We will use egg, corn flour. Uh, you can use corn flour, corn starch. We marinate with sugar, oyster sauce, and light soy sauce. Uh, this part is for marinade. Uh, we marinate pork with egg. Uh, corn starch, or corn flour, sugar, oyster sauce, and light soy sauce. This part for the fresh ingredients uh, for cooking. And next, let's take a look for the seasoning sauce. For the gravy sauce, we will seasoning with uh, oyster sauce. Soybean paste, light soy sauce, sugar. Uh, this part is for seasoning sauce. Oyster sauce, soybean paste, light soy sauce, and sugar. And for the sauce, we will need it kind of gravy, kind of thicker. We use cornstarch also. So for cornstarch, we will use two parts. The first part for marinate the pork. Second part we use for the gravy sauce. All right, and I will set aside. Another seasoning sauce is not very seasoning. It's more like color. Ah, for the color, we will stir fry the noodles. We use dark soy sauce ah, to have color. Ah, to have noodle have ah, black color, darker in color like brown. Okay, and this one is dark soy sauce for noodles. All right. And next, is have more? Yes. One more set. Ah. Another one is for like like a when you go in Thai restaurant, when you order rat na, they will give you vinegar with chilies, uh, sugar, crushed red chilies, fish sauce, and white pepper powder. They will serve it along to you like this when you order. Uh, like noodle soup, radna p a s i u always come like this. That's it all for the ingredients. Let's move for preparation. Okay, first for garlic. For garlic, I'm just gonna crush. Nah, no shop. Crush like this. Careful, like this, and put back on the bowl. And for kale, cut about one inches long. Stem and the leaves also. 
set aside. For kale, we use like one cup. Baby corn, I will cut in half by long first. And then half by claws. Baby corn, we use like a quarter cup. Carrot, we, I'm just going to slice it by round. Quarter cup also. All the vegetable. Kale, baby corn, and carrot. Rice noodle. For rice noodle, I'm always kind of like to add the dark soy sauce before I'm stir fry because this is the safer way to make sure uh, to make sure the color is same colors uh, for dark soy sauce we use half teaspoon we don't need it to be real dark I think the bowl is too small let me change the bowl For noodles, why rice noodle, big fat noodle, rice noodle, I'm going to use uh, 180 grams. Oopsie. They have to be real dark. That's it. Set aside. All right, for the fresh ingredient part is done. And now we're gonna cut up the pork. This one I'm gonna put on a tray. Set aside. And for pork. Here, yeah, motorbike. Welcome to Thailand. It's always noisy on the street. You can use any part of pork. I kind of like a little meat and a little fat. If you like fat, you can use tenderloin. It's red meat. For pork, I'm used 200 grams. I'm put in a bowl. All right, let me go wash my hands, clean up my knife and my cutting board. I'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna marinate pork. So we will start from corn starch or corn flour, one tablespoon. Egg and then oyster sauce, one tablespoon oyster, light soy sauce, half tablespoon, and last thing, sugar, sugar, one and half teaspoon, one and another half. One and a half teaspoon sugar. Have all the seasoning and now we will marinate. Huh? Give a little massage. Egg and corn starch will make the pork have tender. Normally it's better to marinate overnight. Done. Set aside. For the seasoning sauce for gravy sauce, I have uh, 
light soy sauce here, one tablespoon. Sugar, sugar two teaspoon, soybean paste, or in Thai we call dao jiao. Oops, soybean paste half tablespoon, oyster sauce. Half tablespoon, and then mix together. Uh, in here we have soybean paste. Uh, soybean paste half tablespoon, oyster sauce half tablespoon, light soy sauce one tablespoon, and sugar two teaspoon. This is the sauce for when we making the gravy sauce. And for gravy sauce we use corn starch, uh, corn flour. To make the sauce thicker, more gravy, one tablespoon, and mix with water, just room temperature water, one tablespoon, one one, and then mix together. That's it. This. This is it for the gravy sauce. Set aside for now. All right, and now uh, we will let the pork is marinate for one hour. Everything we prepare. See you in one hour. Right now, after we marinate the pork for one hour, and next step we will go up for cooking. All right, let's go. And first, in the wok, we add in two tablespoon cooking oil, and when the cooking oil is ready, we add in garlic. We stir fry garlic with cooking oil until we get fragrant smell. And then we take the garlic out. In the same wok, we still have a little cooking oil here. We adding in noodles. We cook the noodles separate from the gravy. We cook the noodle only for one minute because the noodle is already cooked. Actually, we just more like reheat it. Turn off the heat. Transfer back out. Ah, uh, I'm transfer out to the bowl. Ah, uh, and now in the same pan, in the same wok, we will do the same thing with pork. And in the wok, we add. In the same wok, uh, adding in two cups of water. We're gonna cook the pork. And now pork, adding in. When the water boiling, add in the pork.
cook with high heat. Now pork cook about 50%, adding in carrot. I like my vegetable crispy. Baby corn and tennis kale. For the vegetable, I'm not gonna cook long. After we adding in vegetable, next will be seasoning sauce. And now after uh, pork is cooked and vegetable is cooked, next will be corn flour, the one we mix with water. We will add it in. Before you add it, make sure you stir. Pour it in and keep stirring. Now we have a gravy sauce. All right, and the last thing we add in, remember the garlic we fry in the beginning before we add in noodles, I will put it back in. All right. And then turn off the heat. We get our gravy sauce now. And now for plating. Ah, for Ragna, first we adding in noodles you can change from a uh, rice noodle to be our uh, eggs noodle also glass noodle eggs noodle and we have a gravy sauce And then we clean up on the side. Ah, clean up on the side. We sprinkle white pepper powder on top. Optional, how much you like. And basically, that it. Normally, it's not we not decorated this one. Ah, this dish is not have to be decorated. Serve fast with fast food and then serve along with fish sauce, vinegar chilies, uh, sugar, 
crushed red chilies, uh, crushed red pepper, you decide because in the sauce it's kind of, it's not real strong, it's a little salty, a little sweet, but some people like more sour, you can add vinegar. You like more, uh, more spicy, you add uh, chili pepper on top. You like more sweet, you add more chili. You like more salty, add more fish sauce. People eat different. The white Thai food, when, there's, when you order noodle like this, they always give you extra uh, to seasoning. By yourself, how you like. But for me, I don't need it. I'm happy with this. All right, that's it done. All right, now finish with my white rice noodle in gravy sauce. All right, now time for me to go enjoy my lunch. Hopefully, you can follow me how to cook, enjoy cooking, and enjoy eating at home. And see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Bye.